Hi everyone. Welcome back to the channel. We are doing a Sunday reads today. A little catch up. Fill you in on what I've been reading and future reading plans. I think I need to change the angle. Um, yeah, that works. Uh, I have mostly been reading Crossroads by Jonathan Franzen for the last week. I'm probably 200 pages in. I'm really liking it. If you've been keeping up with Jalen's channel, you'll see that I recently went on his podcast to talk about trauma plot and the idea of a trauma plot and a little summation of that of that podcast video if you weren't able to read it. Um, it made me realize that I've been searching for plot and third person in books more than I usually have because of my big dive into the genre of DWM in the last year or two. Uh, I'm kind of just like feeling not into insular perspectives and just being in the brain of one person so Crossroads is fun. It's like a cast of characters, a big family saga. I just got to the mother's perspective where, okay let me back up. Crossroads if you haven't heard it blurbed yet is the story of a family in America and they're like a, a Christian pastor's family basically and it follows all of the different members of the family throughout a period of time. It's like set in the early 60s and talks about like counterculture and this religious sector in this tiny small town and it, each chapter is from a different character's perspective and right now I just got to the mom's perspective who seems like she's been hiding something, which is, I don't know, a little bit unexpected and fun. Um, interesting to see, hear an account of like early mental health for women. Um, a large part of the chapter so far has been her seeking out mental health and having to hide it from mental health help and having to hide it from her husband, having to like squirrel money away to pay for it discreetly. And it kind of has flashbacks to her dealing with being hospitalized for like uh I think BPD when she was younger and just kind of the guilt she feels around potential hereditary passing on of uh psychological disorders to her children so I'm liking it I'm taking it slow um and it's good I am reading a couple other books too for a vlog um that I'm going to be filming over the next month it's a themed reading vlog and not to spoil it, but I'm going to. The theme of the vlog is basically books recommended to me by Lauren Euler. Lauren Euler is the author of Fake Accounts. I'm also going to be rereading her book. Can you see it right here? Oh, it's just out of frame. It's right here. Um, it's a green book. I'm going to be rereading that. It's been a year since I reread it, and I think it'll be fun. So I got two new book purchases to help me on my reading vlog journey. One is a house in Norway, which is a piece of translated Nordic literature about like a woman who rents out a part of her house and is kind of like plagued by the renter family and is really frustrated with them. Um, I'm actually reading this right now and I'm liking it. Not very far in, maybe 20 pages if you see it right there. Quick little read though, I bet I'll finish that this weekend. And then the other book she recommended me was The Millstone by Margaret Drabble. So, those are two new purchases that I got for this themed reading vlog and I will not talk about them more because it's gonna be a whole video about that. But I have gotten like a lot of book mail recently that I thought would be fun to take you through. Um, almost all of these with the exception of the book of the month have been sent to me from the publishers. So I will walk you through them. I got Post Traumatic, which is an upcoming release which will be out in April by Little Brown uh, by Chantel V. Johnson. I'm really excited to read this book. Uh, who did I see on Twitter just blurb it? It was like an author who... Was it Brandon Taylor? I don't know. It might have been Brandon Taylor or someone else say they really, really love this book. It follows a Black Latinx woman in the United States. It's like, sounds like DWM vibes. Um, but she is a lawyer who advocates for mentally ill patients in the New York City Psychiatric Hospital. Um, I think lots of flashbacks to like childhood memories and such, so 
Let's do it. And then Astro House sent me Goddard from Mercy by Okezi Nuoka. Um, I love this cover. This was in my top covers of the year video, uh, which is funny. I didn't ask for this, but I'm really glad it came because uh, I've been wanting to read this. I just saw it at the library actually and almost picked it up, but it got sent to me, which is exciting. It sounds really beautiful and lyrical and is a powerful reimagining of a history erased. Gorgeous, can't wait. And then Riverhead sent me Strangers I Know by Claudia Durasti, Durastanti, which is a novel blurb by Jumbo Lahiri. Very cool. Uh, this is about a work of fiction about being a stranger in your own family and life. Stunning cover. The blurbs are popping on the back. Ocean Wong and Lauren Groff. And I think this was an Italian release originally. Or what am I thinking of? I think this was an Italian release originally that did really well over there so it got translated and now it's here was it translated i think she translated it herself and then my book of the month that i picked up i have a bunch of credit to use up with book of the month i feel like they're like every other month there's a book i would actually want to read from it so i end up skipping a lot and i've accumulated a lot of credit but i finally got to cash one in fiona and jane by jean chen ho Jalen loved this collection of short stories. They're interconnected about two Asian American women who are best friends, I believe, all set in Los Angeles trying to survive teenage years. That sounds incredible. Intimate portraits of friendship. We love to see it. And then lastly, for books that have been sent to me lately, I have Path of Totality by Nina Polari, Polari which is a book of poems out by Soft Skull which Kiki is loving. Kiki is reading it when he cooks dinner. Um, didn't know we had a poetry lad in our midst, but I guess we do. I... This sounds really intense. Uh, the collection is about an eviscerating loss of a child, the hope that precedes this crisis, and the suffering that follows. Okay. I know Path of Totality is a reference to, to the solar eclipse, right? Like that's the, the part where you can see it most fully. I remember the last big solar eclipse that happened in like 2016, 2015 in Oregon. Oregon was like in the path of totality and people like drove from all over to come look at it. So that's my path of totality fact for you. <laughs> um, yeah, besides that, doing good reading. I think it's just like, not interesting probably for me to say again that work is kicking my ass but it is kicking my ass so thoughts and prayers for me on that and and it's been sunny in portland it's been sunny all week it's been such a treat in this january weather i think it ends today is that right kiki he doesn't know other things that are happening in our life, uh, my cousin is getting married in March in Florida, so we're planning, Spud, oh man. <laughs> so we're planning a trip home and I think we're gonna make a vacation out of it and go to Charleston, South Carolina for a couple days and drive down. So if you have any recommendations for Charleston, let me know, that would be cool. Besides that, just kind of like surviving my job right now is kind of in the mode I'm in which is not my favorite, but it's just like the season, you know? I'm hoping it alleviates a little bit and levels out after this start of the year rush is over, but we'll see. Quick video today, but I didn't want to leave you hanging. Again, a big, a big vlog is coming. Uh, I'm reading slowly and I hope you are too. Okay, love you, bye.